Here's the iPhone SE 3rd edition. I'm going to show you two of the easiest way to take a screenshot. So the first way is a two key combination. What you want to do is press the power button and the home button. Just press it really quick at the same time. Both buttons again. Power button, home button. Boom, boom, there we go. Every time you take a screenshot, it's automatically going to get saved into your photos gallery app. So if I tap that right there, and then you can just tap on albums down here, and then you can see recents up here, all of our recent um, photos that you've taken, videos, as well as screenshots. But if I go back, but you also have a new folder called screenshots. So if I scroll down, I can see screenshots right there. So if I tap on that, we can go ahead and see all of my screenshots here. Now, the second way to do, take a screenshot is, and you don't have to use uh, two keys, it's basically uh, just use one finger. What you want to do is enable assistive touch. So go ahead and go to your settings. We'll go to settings here. And then from here, we want to go to accessibility. So we're going to scroll all the way down to accessibility right here. Let's tap on that. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and tap on down here where it says touch. Tap on touch. And then what we're going to do is up here, assistive touch. Okay, we're going to tap on that right there. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on. As soon as we turn this on, we get this little floaty thing down here. Now look down here. We can do a screenshot for single tap, double tap, or long press. Okay, so right now I have it on double tap. You can see screenshot right there. But let me just put on single tap too. So let me tap up here on single tap. Right now it's on open menu. So if I tap it once, it's going to open up this menu. But I can change this to screenshot as well. So if I go to screenshot right there. Now I have a single tap and double tap for screenshots. So if I tap this floaty thing here once, it's going to take a screenshot. Okay, now this floaty thing stays in the foreground anywhere you go. I also have it set on double tap. So if I double tap it, it's going to go ahead and do a screenshot as well. Okay, and you can also do a uh, long press here if you wish as well. You would just press and hold it and it'll take a screenshot. All right, pretty simple.